Oi pessoal, eu sou Marcelo Copelo, estou em Santiago, do Chile, com duas presenças ilustríssimas, Felipe Toso e John Duval. Nice to meet you guys. Finally, you both together. It's an honor. And uh, we're going to taste two wines. And I'd like to, you to introduce me. Pangea, you make together, right? Yeah. And this Absolutely. is. Which is the vintage? 2011. 2011. A beautiful vintage. And how do you work together? Who makes the. You make the wine and then you blend. You blend together. Who's the master? Who's the slave? <laughs> No, it's an equal partnership. Equal right? partnership. Yeah, I, I bring many years of experience with Syrah, mm. and obviously Philippe brings local knowledge about the terroir and about the palta, and develop, together we've developed the wine. Mm -hmm. yeah, we call that we make a wine with four hands. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, but we, we taste and we work together 100%. There's no, if we don't agree in one group or one barrel, we decide not to put it in the blend. So the, 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 the process is you vinify and then taste all the barrels and blend all together. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We do that several times as well because I come to Chile twice a year mm -hmm. and in the middle of the year Felipe visits me in the Brossa and sends about 20 dozen samples of wine okay. that we put blends together. So it's uh, very, uh, very professionally done. I tasted already several vintages of Pangea and I see a clear evolution. The wine is getting better. Have you changed anything? Less oak, maybe, or older vintages? What changed since the beginning I of Pangea? Think, so, several factors. The vines are getting older. Mm -hmm. uh, we're understanding the viticulture more. Uh, we're understanding the soils more. But I think we're striving for more elegance in, in our winemaking as well. Um, so uh, I think it's a combination of factors. Um, but elegance, how do you, uh, what you do, you, uh, do you change in the process to have this elegance? Less extraction, uh, you crop earlier? I, I think with the viticulture approach as well, with the yields are less, mm -hmm. um, and I think we can pick a little bit earlier, uh, as well if we're more vibrant, mm -hmm. I think that's an important part of the style as well. So yeah. pick a little earlier to have a little bit more acidity, yeah. and less... Uh, Freshness, yeah. Okay, less a little bit. Yeah. The alcohol on average has gone down like half a percent. Yeah. That's great. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and in terms all of the alcohol barrel, going up, you're going down. The That's only great. difference in barrel, we use the same amount of new oak, but we change from 225 to 300. Okay. A few years ago. A little bit we, we bigger. A so little bit bigger. One. Okay. But that's it. We're still, we're still quite similar. Mm, we're getting nice. older. Okay. <laughs> Wiser. <laughs> And this is a fantastic vintage. I tasted before with you yeah. in Rio. And Rio yes, it was amazing. To me, this is the best Pangea. Do you agree? Oh, it's a beautiful vintage. Oh, yes. the, we, we both love it. But the next will be better. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, 12 is very different. Uh, 12, uh, this is a cool year. Mm -hmm. It reflects also, we were making the changes, and it also reflects a cool vintage. 2012 <clears> is completely the opposite. It's a warm vintage. So the 11 and 12 are very different, but it's about the style. You know, we, we, we want to maintain this freshness and elegance. Mm -hmm. Well, let's move to this wine. I don't know this one, I haven't stopped tried. Eligo? Eligo is a, a Latin word meaning to pick out, select or choose um, the best. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's not, I, I have another Shiraz called Entity, so it's not a barrel selection from that Shiraz. It starts in the vineyard, a vineyard selection, it's, it's the best of, so the so selection of the best sections in the vine, my very old Shiraz vineyards, um, the best fermentation batches, the best barrels, so it's a very small production, only between 500 and 700 cases, but it's, it's a wine that rewards cellaring as well, it's got structure, it's power, but it's restrained power. Again, elegance is, just as with Pangea, elegance is very much a part of the um, of Eligo too, well, very much a part of my Shiraz wine making. Uh, folks, uh, if you don't know, uh, John Duval was the chief wine maker for Penfolds Grand for many years, over 20 years, right? Uh, 16 years. 16 yeah. years. But I've worked for Penfolds for 29 vintages. So, 29 uh, yeah. vintages, vintages of one of the best wines in the new world. And now all this experience is here. Uh, do you think, uh, in, in general, Australia has changed its style? 
I, I think there's a lot more diversity, there's a lot more regions now, but um, <clears throat> I think that um, a few of the people who have been making wine in Santa Rosa for a long time, we've never lost the thought of elegance and re refinement. I mean, that I think there's more people, more people using French oak, more people striving for that elegant expression of Shiraz. And sometimes I get a little bit frustrated about the, the stereotypical view about the brosser yes, being yes. big, stark, but they don't have to be. They can be balanced and mm -hmm. the wines with finesse. I was telling you before this interview that I tasted recently all the vintages of range, starting with the first one in 1954 until 2010. And I was amazed with the style changing a little bit from uh, Bordeaux style to a more international style to a more Australian elegant style today, I think. And it was a, a, a lesson of uh, enology and wine history, tasting all these vintages. Fantastic experience. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, yeah. fantastic experience. So let's taste this one. Did you participate in any way in this one? Only drinking it. Only drinking it. What, what do you think? I love it. I, 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 because I've been in, I worked one vintage with John a few years ago, so I know a lot of uh, his growers and very old vineyards that he has. Um, I found it fascinating how it's a reflection of, of the of the area, how you can see Barossa, but in a very elegant way. Um, it's restrained, uh, it's beautiful. Really, I can attest, it's different of the stereotype of, of Barossa. I mean, very we, fresh. Yes, it's very fresh. So that's what I was talking about. That fr freshness and uh, I mean, when you've got, we have the oldest Shiraz vines in the world in the Brossa, and I think it's a much more respectful approach to bring out the the, you know, the character of the wine rather than let it get overripe when you lose the typicity and the, and the great quality we have in the Brossa. So uh, that's I talk about that sort of balance, that lovely expression of sort of blackberry, blueberry. Savory fine grain French oak. Yeah, there's a deepness also. Yeah, yeah. A deepness in, in the bow. <clears throat> fantastic effect and fantastic freshness. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And the wine is ready to drink with the aging potential, of course. Aging potential, yeah. Yes. You, you could put that down for 15 years. Or easily, yeah. easily. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Both yeah, exactly. I think yeah. 10, 15 years would be yeah. great. Yeah. So, see you in 10, 15 years with these wines again. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thank you Cheers. very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Obrigado. Obrigado a todos.